Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. The first thing that I'm going to do is of course moisturize my skin. Today I will be using this one from L'Oreal. It's called the Aged Perfect Moisturizer. It does have SPF 15 and you guys already know I live in Texas. So here in Texas, the heat is brutal. Never forget your neck area and that is no matter how old you are. My brows are previously uh, microbladed, so the shape is there, but it is fading. I do like to brush the brow hairs, and I will be using a brush like this, and also this item right here, and that's just so the brow hairs stay where they need to be. So I'm just gonna put a little bit, and I'm just gonna go ahead and I put a lot. Let me pass it on to the other one. So see, that's enough for both. And practically what I'm gonna do is just brush the hairs upward. You can also use soap. I don't know, just I haven't mastered using the soap. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take a brush. And this one is from Anastasia. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bit of product and what I like to do is just draw like little hairs. Then after this, I will be applying some concealer on the lid of the eye to prep it. I will be using this palette from BH Cosmetics. I am going to get this beautiful pink color right on that crease of the eye. Notice that the brush is a kind of a fat brush, if you will, or fluffy brush. And I want it quite loose because I do want all that area above the crease of the eye to have this shade just like this. And also at the same time as I'm applying it, I am blending it out. Next, I am using a different palette. This one is from Too Faced and it's called the Gingerbread Spice. I do wanna use a deeper pink color and I will be using a different brush. Notice that this one is more narrow. I am applying that shadow right underneath the previous one and then I am going to blend it out with the same fluffy brush that we used before. From the same palette, I am now using this purple shade. Once again, I am using a different brush. It is quite smaller than the previous one and I'm applying this color right underneath the previous color and that's just going to create more depth to that eye look. I do want this eye look to have dimension even though the colors are similar. And then of course I'm gonna go back to the same fluffy brush that we used before and I will be blending everything together. Now what I'm doing here is cleaning this area because I will be doing a cut crease. I'm using a concealer from Maybelline and uh, this brush is actually quite helpful when it comes to shaping the cut crease. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the shape and then with the other side of the brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill it in. Now moving on to this palette, I will be using just this beautiful golden shade and I'm gonna go ahead and apply it with my fingers. And then I'm gonna go back with that same deep color that we use, that purple, and then I am going to use that pink one just to blend everything out. And also, I am going to use this eyeliner, and uh, this one is from Tarte, and that's just gonna give it that extra pop. Now, with this e.l.f. eyeliner, I am going to create a cat eye look. With a black pencil, I am going to prep those lashes for falsies and also I will be applying it on the waterline. And then I'm gonna go back to the purple shade and I'm just gonna go ahead and smudge it in. I'm going to curl my mini lashes, put some mascara and bam, yes. Look at these eyelashes, they're just beautiful. And this is practically the finished look. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face. Now for my lips, I do want to have them on the neutral side, so I will be using this pencil from Derek Cosmetics. 
now I will be using this one to fill it in. This one is Kylie Matte. It's called Kylie Matte. And well, my friends, this is the final result. I hope that you like this tutorial. And like always, I will see you next time. Hasta la vista. Adios.